All right, this is fifth grade, module four, lesson 27. We're going to be solving a bunch of word problems using um, fractions and dividing fractions. And so there's going to be a lot of drawings and pictures. And, to, and the idea being, parents and teachers, is at this point in the lesson, in the lessons, we are not necessarily teaching the standard algorithm. Right now, we're teaching students how to get the answer to division problems using number sense. Ultimately, they are, students are going to learn that standard algorithm, but, but at this point in our little developmental stage, we're trying to still make sense of what division even means. So let's get started. So Kelvin, good old Kelvin, ordered four pizzas for a birthday party, and the pizzas were cut into eighths. How many slices were there? So we're going to draw four pizzas, and I'm going to be quick about this. I'm just going to draw four pizzas like this. There's my four pizzas right there. So there's one pizza, one pizza, one pizza, and one pizza. It says each pizza was cut into eighths. So each pizza was cut into eighths. Oh boy, I'm just kind of going quickly here. All right, so how many slices were there? Well, We've got eight eighths here, we've got eight eighths here, we've got eight eighths here, and we've got eight eighths here. So we can see that four divided by one eighth, because essentially we're taking four pizzas and cutting them into eighths. And that's the same thing as essentially four times eight, which is 32. So we've got eight eighths, another eight eighths, another eight eighths, and another eight eighths. So we have 32 eighths. So the answer is there's 32 p slices. 32 slices. On this one, we have a pitcher of water contains one quarter liters of water. And the water is poured equally into five glasses. How many liters of water are in each glass? So let's begin by drawing a quarter. So one fourth is going to look like that. There's our one fourth. And it says the water, that one quarter, is poured into five glasses. So that means we're going to chop that up into five equal pieces, and we want to know the size of one of those little pieces. So we know that there's going to be five pieces there, five pieces there, and five pieces there because each quarter has been cut into five equal pieces. So we can do four times five is twenty. So we know that this one little piece is one twentieth of a liter, one twentieth. So that's our answer, and we, we did that without any math. But let's write out the math. So we've got one quarter divided by five. That's the same thing as one fourth divided by five. And one fourth, well, instead of calling this one fourth, if we wanted to, we could call this right here, we could call this five twentieths. So we could call this 5 twentieths <laughs> divided by 5. And 5 twentieths divided by 5, 5 divided by 5 is 1. So the answer is 1 twentieth, which is this, 1 twentieth. Now, it says write the amount of water in each glass in milliliters. So that means we've got one twentieth of a liter, and we want it in milliliters. All right, so uh, we learned how to do that in a hmm, earlier, earlier module or earlier, definitely er earlier videos. I can't remember if it was this module. So we know that one twentieth, one twentieth liter is the same thing as one twentieth times one liter. 
And since we want it to eventually become milliliters, we're going to change one liter into a thousand milliliters. So now we're going to multiply one twentieth times a thousand, and that ends up being a thousand in the numerator and tw uh, twenty in the denominator. And so that simplifies. 1,000 over 220 simplifies to 50 milliliters. And that is our answer for part B, 50 milliliters. So parents, teachers, I went pretty quick on this slide, so make sure you pause as necessary so that the students can understand the calculations. And our last slide for this video is a doozy. It's a three-parter. So, a container is filled with blueberries right here. Oh, I gotta do blue. They're blueberries. Uh, One-sixth of the blueberries is poured equally into two bowls. What fraction of the blueberries are in each bowl? So we're gonna begin by drawing what a picture of one-sixth looks like. So there is our picture of one-sixth, and that one-sixth is cut up equally into two equal-sized bowls, and we want to know how much is one of those bowls, and that answer is one-twelfth, because each sixth is cut into two pieces, making the whole thing twelve-twelfths, 12 pieces is 12 twelfths, and we want to know one of those bowls, and so it's 1 twelfth. In each bowl. 1 twelfth of, the, of all the blueberries is in each bowl. Now the next question says, if each bowl has 6 ounces of blueberries in it, how many ounces of blueberries were in the full container? So essentially what they're saying is they're saying that each of these bowls has six ounces. So each of these bowls has six ounces, and we know that there's 12 of them, and like there's 12 twelfths, and each twelfth equals six ounces. So 12 times uh, six is 72 ounces were in the full bag in the full bag. And then the last part says, if one-fifth of the remaining blueberries are used to make muffins, one-fifth of the remaining blueberries are used to make muffins, how many pounds of blueberries are left in the container? Boy, this is actually a, a variety of steps. So the first thing is, we've got to go all the way back, and I'm going to get red, and we know that this much right here is split up in, into those two bowls. And so down here, this question, one-fifth of the remaining blueberries are used to make muffins. So that means we're supposed to figure out one-fifth of this much right here. So if I count... That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 6 times 10 is 60 ounces. So 1 fifth, 1 fifth of 60 ounces are used to make muffins. So that means 1 fifth times 60, which is equal to 60 over 5, which is equal to, let's see, 12 ounces, all right? So now we know from part C, if one-fifth of the remaining blueberries are used to make muffins, that's this part, that's the 12 ounces. The question is saying, how many pounds of blueberries are left in the container? So we're going to take a step back and say, okay, remember, we started with 72 ounces. And we learned, first off, take away 12 ounces because those were the 12 ounces in the bowls. 
in the bowls. And now we have 60 ounces left. And we just learned that we used 12 ounces to make muffins. And that's the 12 ounces to make muffins. And so we have 48 ounces left over. And that the question is, how many pounds is that? Well, we know that 40, uh, 16 ounces is a pound, so 16 ounces times 3 equals 48 ounces. So that means this 48 ounces is equal to 3 pounds. And that wraps up that part C. So parents and teachers, there's a lot of calculations on this problem. Don't let your students just watch the video. Make sure you pause and rewind frequently to make sure that students are really understanding what's going on here. And that wraps up Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 27.